General Githamui Guy says there will be no constitutional crisis even if the election is not held within 60 days. He maintains President Uhuru Kenyatta will remain in charge until a new president is elected. The AG addressed a media conference earlier this morning to clarify on fears of constitutional uncertainties with a strict timeline emanating from the repeat presidential elections. This is what he had to say. This electoral period started on the day the election was declared and will end on the day a swearing-in is held. Finally, for the avoidance of doubt, I would like to draw your attention to the provisions of Article 3 of the Constitution. For, for those, perhaps, who have not addressed their minds to this issue, some of them being very otherwise seemingly distinguished uh, practitioners of the law. This is what Article 3 of the Constitution provides. Every person has an obligation to respect, uphold, and defend this Constitution. But Article 2, 3, 2 is even more important. Any attempt to establish a government otherwise than in compliance with this Constitution is unlawful. Any attempt to establish any form of government other than in compliance with this Constitution is declared by the Constitution unlawful. I want to finalize, therefore, by saying there is no government known to the Constitution of Kenya called a transitional government or a caretaker government or any other form of government other than that that is defined in this Constitution. And I would like the Kenyan public to know, therefore, that until a fresh government is sworn in, which includes the president, the deputy, and their cabinet, the government now in office legitimately remains in office by full force of the Constitution uh, of, of the Republic of Kenya. All right, for more details on this, let's now link up with our senior political reporter, Dan Kenheimba, who joins us live from our city center studios. Dan, can what the AG has said is quite a direct opposite from what we had senior counsel James Orengo say while he was reacting to the full judgment that was delivered by the Supreme Court bench. This definitely is going to be fodder for talk in the political landscape in the country. Yes, indeed, uh, the, that one actually opens another uh, fresh, uh, uh, actually another fresh round of legal battle. Now, this time round, I guess, uh, uh, not in the judiciary or in the corridors of justice, but I think what we'll uh, basically be experiencing in the sections of the media because the Attorney General clearly says that the Constitution as it stands or as it is does not talk about anything called transitional government or caretaker government or any other form of government and therefore basically saying that whatever NASA was saying that in the event the election is not held on uh, initially 17th, now 26th, but at most, if by 1st of November there's no presidential election, then what happens? NASA was talking of uh, there could be, that could be a looming constitutional crisis there because uh, a transition or caretaker government has to be put in place. The attorney, the attorney general says he is the league government legal advisor as well as the custodian of public interest and the rule of law. He says that uh, as it stands, the current president enjoys what he calls full. He's a full family in office by full force of the constitution and as such there will be no room for either caretaker government, a transitional government, or any other form of government. That basically says or cements what the president said yesterday and what the president has been saying, that he is legally in office and in full swing and in full force. So definitely that will be another round of uh, tussle between uh, the legal minds allied to NASA and those ones allied to Jubilee Party. Akisa. All right, so what really do we expect to see in the next few days? We know that uh, the campaigns are coming on after the delivery of all that judgment that is done and dusted in terms of campaigns. Quickly, just take us through what we expect in the next few days. 
Well, we do expect that campaigns will have to continue because uh, time is running out for the two candidates, uh, Raila Odinga, Uhuru Kenyatta. IBC has to start actually uh, cleaning or putting, getting, uh, putting their act together because this is a do or die uh, fresh presidential election and therefore a lot of activity will be taking place. But uh, more interesting will be what NASA will settle for. Remember NASA as of yesterday, they've maintained that uh, they have the 10 points they call irreducible minimums that they offered IBC. If those uh, issues are not taken care of, they will not be party to this particular uh, fresh presidential election. The AG says the law is very clear. If, no one, if a, a candidate fails to take place in an election, that does not stop that particular election. And therefore, they are saying if NASA decides not to be party to it, Jubilee will still continue as per the day that will be officially or has officially been gazetted by IBC and that is 26th of October as we speak. Therefore it will be interesting to see what exactly will be happening. There is talk that perhaps NASA would want to push for what they are calling a constitutional crisis which might um, force Bunge or Parliament to have a Kamkunji and talk about what next. But the AG has said there is nothing as such, Akisa. Duncan Haimba, senior political reporter there, joining us live from our city centre studios now. now